So you want to connect your FlySky FSI6 or i6X transmitter to the computer to use a simulator, which is awesome, but you don't know how and the cable that came with your transmitter doesn't seem to be doing anything with your computer. Well, here's the most important part of the video. This is the, this is the big deal part right here. You need this cable. This is the FlySky uh, SM100 cable. SM100, very small print right there. That's what you need. This is FlySky's simulator cable that you use to connect. Uh, one side goes to your transmitter, the other side goes to your computer. And I use a Mac now, and so this works fine on a Mac. I used to use a PC uh, running Windows. I think it was Windows 10. So it should work with current versions of Windows. Now, here's one little thing that might trip you up. Uh, in some cases, you need to download drivers. Now, I think if you have, if you have a newer version, um, like on my Mac, I don't think I needed to download any drivers. But uh, on the PC, you might. It just kind of depends on your setup. But if you do need to download drivers, usually the seller uh, will have a link to that, or at least one uh, item listed on Amazon, that seller has a link, and I'm pretty sure that that's what I used for my PC. I downloaded those drivers. Um, really, a pretty simple process. Uh, you just you gotta. It's a zip file, so you gotta open the zip file, and you can get to all of the different drivers and stuff to install. And a driver is just like a little a little thing, a little thing that you need to install on your computer, so that one thing can talk to another thing, basically. So this this end now you'll see here this uh, cable here it comes with like it kind of looks like a headphone jack style um, it's just like a it's not the tip ring ring sleeve it's just well basically just the tip and the sleeve right there um, and then that goes into this end and then this end and this is the one with the little square peg and the four little pins now this does come. I don't have it with me right now, but this does come with another uh, attachment for a different type of plug, but I don't really care about that. And what you do is just plug it <clears throat> right into here on the transmitter where it says trainer, and you want that square plug to be towards the top. And just kind of line it up, make sure it's in there, and press it in. And that's basically it. I mean, and then you take the USB part and you plug that into your computer. USB somewhere in here. <laughs> there you go. USB. And it should, um, like I said, it should show up um, like like in your simulator. It, it should basically just that your computer should recognize it. If it doesn't recognize it, then that probably means that you need the drivers. Um, I'm not actually going to go through how to install those drivers and stuff because your setup may be different and you may not even need to install any drivers in order to get this thing working. But that's the main thing I wanted to tell you is that this is the cable that you need because for some reason you can't use the data cable that, that FlySky sends with the transmitters. I wish you could because that would make that would make things a whole lot simpler for everybody involved. Just to note this cable right here, this cable is the data cable that you get with the transmitter. And they're very similar, aren't they? They look very, very, very similar. Uh, you might even say identical, but they do not perform the same function. And this one, well, one way you can recognize it is it has, at least mine anyway, it has this little, uh, this little plastic thing on here. Not totally sure what that's on there for. And then it just goes straight into the barrel style kind of plug that you would plug, use to plug into the transmitter. But this is just for data. That's just for data, so like if you need to do a firmware update or if you want to upgrade the firmware uh, from your i6 to, uh, to allow you to use 10 channels, then you would use this uh, cable. And I have a video about how to do that, and I'll put a link to it, like right here or something. As far as where to purchase this cable, for me, I'm in the US, so I would just buy it from Amazon. Um, you can, Banggood has a cable like this, but it is not actually the FlySky SM100. It's something else. And they say it will work. And I don't know, it, it might work, but it kind of looks like a bit more complicated as far as the software installation. So not totally 
sure that I would recommend that one, but you could check it out. Um, and there are some other places, so I'll leave links to where you could get this cable, but it's about $10 on Amazon. And if you're in the US or you can get Amazon, that is where I would get it from. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I hope this helped you. And if you have any questions or comments about using your FlySky transmitter with a simulator, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see relating to FlySky stuff and FlySky uh, transmitters. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a fantastic day and I will see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.